Hello. Welcome to our video. Today, we are going to discuss about introduction to pricing strategies and tactics. First, let me introduce our group members. We are from group 1, and our members are Mimi Sayahira, Kira Nisa, Muhammad Amiral, Nur Azira, and Nuriza. Next, let us explain the introduction to pricing strategies and tactics. Process, used by managers and decision makers in business, to set the price of their offerings, is referred to as pricing strategy. This strategy, must be employed because any corporate entity, must face some issues, restraints, and limitations to gain maximum profit. These barriers include prices set by competitors, market conditions, the company's relative market dominance, customer income levels, and their opinion of the quality of goods and services. Next, I will explain about the introduction. Price is the value that can be discovered in various items and services. The more the value of an object, the higher the price we pay. The quality found in a product and service is also tied to the price. Usually, the quality of a product and service is based on the company's operating criteria. The organization will use high-grade raw resources to get great outputs. The cost of manufacturing goods and services is also tied to prices. Production costs relate to all expenses incurred by a corporation when manufacturing providing goods or services. Price also refers to the amount that buyers have to pay when they want to receive a product or service. Next, I will explain about the price nicknames. From a marketing perspective, there are many nicknames for prices. In addition to pricing, there are also interest, fare, fees, dowry, fines, summonses, payment, invoices, premiums, wages, salaries, corruption, and finally the bill. Firstly, is interest. Interest is a charge that is charged to the borrower. Secondly, is fare. Fare is the price that passengers pay for transportation services, such as taxis, buses, trains, ships, or airplanes. Thirdly, is fees. The fee is a sum of money that is payable on a monthly basis or at the appointed time. Fourthly, is dowry. Dowry in marriage is a gift worth a large amount of ringgit and will be given to the bride of their spouse for the marriage. Next, is penalty. Penalties are punishments or consequences for the perpetrator for doing something wrong. Other than that, we also have fines, terms, premiums, wages, salary, bribe, and the last one for price nicknames are bill. Next, we will discuss about the types and forms of price. There are 15 types of price. We have discounted, auctioned, psychological, penetration, skimming, promotion, premium, economy, bundle, geographical, demographic, freemium, FOB, seasonal, and subsidies. Firstly, is discount. A discount is a price cut that is applied to an item's original price. Secondly, is auction. As we know, every buyer will adore the auction-like price. Thirdly, is psychological. By getting clients interested in the products being sold, businesses can enhance sales income by exploiting the psychology of price. Fourthly, is penetration. When applied properly, penetration pricing, which is comparable to loss leader pricing, can be an effective in marketing tactic. The other types and forms of price is skimming, promotion, premium, economy, bundle, geographical, demographic, freemium, FOB, seasonal and subsidies. Next, we will discuss about the characteristic of price. Firstly, is fix. A product, service, or piece of work has a fixed price that cannot be altered. Secondly, is flexible. Flexible pricing is a suitable price that can suit the customer demand. Thirdly, is fluctuate. The characteristic feature of price, volatility can be defined as irregular upward and downward movements at all times. Fourthly, is high. 
This high price is the price that is commonly utilized by goods that have a well-known brand. Furthermore, we also have low. A low price is the same as a high price, but on the other hand, a low price is more likely to use inferior goods at a low price. Other than that, is negotiable. Negotiable is the price that has been agreed upon by the regular business and is still negotiable by the buyer for a considerate discount, as known as negotiable. And the rest, we have expensive, cheap, affordable, profitable, break-even, and competitive. The other characteristic of price is exorbitant, reasonable, steep, overpriced, inexpensive, elastic, inelastic, ground, full board, increase, decrease, and the last characteristics is float. Next, we will discuss about the school of thought. Firstly, is price versus value. Price is the value of goods or services in monetary terms. In general, the price results from an exchange or transaction that occurs between two parties, between the buyer and the seller. Secondly, is price versus quality. Other marketers around the world believe that, other than value, price is always at odds with quality. Quality means a product or service that meets the customer's needs and leads to customer satisfaction. Thirdly, is price versus demand. According to the law of demand, when the demand is getting higher and higher, sellers tend to raise the price of their products. Fourthly, is price versus loyalty. Customer loyalty describes the ongoing emotional connection between seller and buyer, which manifests itself through the customer's willingness to engage and repeatedly buy from you over the competitors. Fifthly, is profit versus loss. Profit is the money that sellers have left over after paying business expenses. There are three main types of profit, gross profit, operating profit, and net profit. The last school of thought is price versus brand. A brand refers to a business and marketing concept that helps people identify a particular company, product or individual. Brands are intangible, meaning you can't actually touch or see them. Then, we will also have the other school of thought on price. Firstly, is price versus psychology. Secondly, is price versus sales. Thirdly, is price versus satisfaction. Fourthly, is price versus competition. Fifthly, is price versus social responsibility. And lastly, is price versus image. Next, we have good pricing behavior. Firstly, we have cost knowledge. Costs are expenses required to produce or sell a product or prepare an asset for normal use. Secondly, product knowledge. Product knowledge is the information needed to clearly explain the product to the customer. Thirdly, technical knowledge. Technical skills are specific knowledge and expertise required to perform specific tasks and use specific tools. Other than that, they also have after sales service knowledge, competitor pricing knowledge, product mixes knowledge, and lastly, vendors and supplier knowledge. Then, we also have the historical and modern of perspective on pricing. We also have discusses about the origin of price and pricing. They started on 3500 BC until 324 AD. Lastly, we have the evolution of price and pricing. We have seashells, stone carving, gold and silver, animal skeletons, golden flower, golden flower components, coins, coins innovations, paper money, banknote innovations, credit cards, checkbook, e-wallet, and lastly we have a future of money. In conclusions, different pricing strategies can be used at different times to suit changes in marketing strategies, market conditions, and product life cycles. Thank you for watching our video.